Wireless Production and today we have a review on Naked Fish, Wahoo, and Piranha. Oh. Alright guys, like I said, uh, we're doing a review on naked f a couple Naked Fish juices today. Uh, we got Wahoo and Piranha, two pretty different juices, two completely different categories, so I thought this would be good and kind of two main ones I think people would really would enjoy out of the line. Uh, Blake has had Piranha, I've had Wahoo, and, I don't know, you want to go first with yours? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so, if you guys aren't familiar with Naked Fish, they have a, like he told us before, they have a completely different line, a uh, bunch of different flavors. Um, some brands like to stick with a same basic kind of flavor, which is what I like about Naked Fish. Um, well, f first off, the title is just hilarious, Fish Don't Wear Clothes. So... That's that. <clears throat> but yeah, Naked Fish. Piranha is what I've been vaping on. I actually just finished this bottle today. Um, when you hit it, you get a nice caramel feel, letting a nice warm vapor hit to your lungs. Um, when you exhale, you get like a whipped cream um, custard feel to it as well. So if you're really into like a softer juice that doesn't hit the throat as hard, something that's a little easier to hit like off an RDA, or a really big coil, anything like that, it, I would recommend this juice because it's, it's I'm gonna go buy it again, most likely this weekend. So, there's that. On their website, they say uh, Piranha is a, uh, what was it, it was a custard? Custard uh, vanilla mix. It was a vanilla custard yep. with whipped cream? Whipped cream at yeah. the end. Like the whipped cream kind yeah. of bites you as you exhale. Yeah. So it's, it's really a smooth flavor. I've had flavors where they just they kill you and you can't hit it at high wattages. Um, Naked Fish kind of levels everything out. Um, the VGPG rating on this, I don't know if it's any different for yours or yeah, not. Yeah, I think it is. Well, the one thing with Naked Fish is that they all have different VGPG levels and they're kind of weird. Like, my, like mine's 7129. It's like, that's just, I don't know, it's a weird number. Mine is um, 63 for VG and 17.7 .7 for PG. I don't even know who comes up with these numbers, but uh, unless I'm reading it wrong, my, my no, answer. that's 80, yeah, 83, yeah. <coughs> 83 VG, 17 PG. Yeah. They got they have really weird PG VG ratios on their juices, which probably they probably just determine that as they're mixing the juice to make it. Either a lighter I, yeah, hit or I, a harder hit. Well, I think they just mainly go for trying to get the flavor as best as possible and then just say <coughs> whatever to the get whatever they can on the PGVG in there. But uh, they also say these are premium dripper e liquids. So, and I've really noticed because I, uh, a while ago, I had another bottle of Wahoo that was running strictly in my Heracles Plus tank, and now on my, uh, Velocity RDA, it I the flavor comes out so much more. I can go into the Wahoo. They, on their website, they say Wahoo is a fruity cereal with um, a vanilla cream. Uh, um, but to me, like I kind of get, I don't get so much vanilla as I do the kind of creamy milkiness. Because to me, I mean, with an inhale, it's. I get, I get more vanilla on the inhale rather than the exhale. The exhale tastes just like straight fruity, fruity pebbles. Like it tastes like I'm eating fruity pebbles. It's crazy. And I've tried, I've tried multiple fruity cereal juices. Yeah, like tutti fruity and yeah, like yeah. a well, a couple different ones. But I, I can honestly say Wahoo is one of the best for me anyway. Uh, it's definitely one to check out, definitely. But uh, yeah, like I said, this one's a seventy-one twenty-nine PGVG ratio, and uh, yeah, we're hoping that I would like to do more of their line soon because uh, they do have a couple new, a uh, couple flavors I'd like to try out, and they just came out with uh, their Blue Marlin, which is supposed to be a blueberry muffin with a vanilla glaze on it. They clearly have something with vanilla because they have a lot of vanilla in a lot of their juices. But, uh, yeah, all around, they're a good company for, and they're fairly cheap. They're reason, they're rather reasonable on their prices. I mean, you get it in this 
metal bottle. I think it's aluminum, but it's aluminum, like a light aluminum. Yeah, and then uh, they're forty milliliter bottles for about twenty two, twenty three dollars. So not horrible, not the best I've seen, but not horrible. I mean, you get extra ten milliliters for what you usually pay on other juices, so it's pretty good. But yeah, I really don't have any bad things to say about this juice line, really. They nailed the juice. What um, a buddy of mine pointed out, you guys all remember Joey, he pointed out the fact that you can't see how much juice you have left. You have to literally look inside the bottle to see how much you have left. Like I was on my last few hits, few, few drops left in my tank, and I really had to focus on seeing how much juice was left. So if you're gonna get a brand like this with the, with the bottles covered up and you can't see the liquid inside, uh, definitely go get at least a smaller bottle just in case you run through it faster than what you think. The upside to these bottles, um, sunlight affects uh, the nicotine levels and they affect the flavors and whatnot, makes them really bitter. And that's what I think is why they went with this, this uh, aluminum bottle is because um, sunlight, you can avoid kind of the sunlight issue. Um, not so much the heat, metal does conduct heat a little bit better than glass, but for keeping it out in the sun, not, not that long, but just avoiding the whole UV rays hitting the juice and affecting the juice in an opposite effect way, it'll help you save the flavor a lot, which is nice. It's, it's kind of a cool idea, but the fact that you can't really see the juice inside when you're running low was one of my downsides to this brand. But other than that, yeah. if they nailed the flavor. Yeah, and honestly, if like if that's not something that really bothers you too much, other, um, but honestly, they have really good packaging. I mean, they have, they everything's on there that you need to know about the juice. Packaging's really nice. I don't see if you guys can see that. They got the little skeleton fish on there. They got the flavor. The eye is a different color. They all have the different color on them for what juice they are. It's just harder to tell. Go into your local vape shop, ask for a naked fish, and just take a look at the bottles. Yeah. Definitely take a look, and if you're one of those people that are really picky about their VGPG levels, try to decipher that as you're looking for this kind of juice. But yeah, definitely a big shout out to Naked Fish for nailing the flavor. Oh yeah, definitely. <coughs> All their juices are really good, like at, va at our shop, local shop that has them. I mean, I've tried all of them, and they're all pretty good. I would like, like I said, I would like to try to get a couple other ones to do reviews on and stuff. And, yeah, definitely. Uh, Especially that new blue marlin. Oh yeah, definitely. I want to try getting that. I think it looks cool because that one comes in a gold bottle, sort of a, you know, brushed silver, steel look bottle. But, but yeah, I mean, all around, they're really good juices. Seals I have nothing, are nice and tight. Yeah, there's no any... leaking problems yeah. on it. It's nice. Like, I have nothing bad to say about this brand. Like, I really don't. And, uh, even with his, I've tried his a little bit, and his is definitely really good. It's totally jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally jealous. I wouldn't say that. He's but... jealous. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I can get a little bit out of here that can drip on here. Yeah. If you can, let me know, because I'm gonna hit it. Oh, yeah, dude. I got a whole... Super full. I just kind of get rid of it once it gets that low, just because it's not going to fill my tank, and I don't really like to mix flavors that much. I kind of like to see the stout flavors, and if I don't like them the way they are just by themselves, I tend to mix them going off of the content of the flavor that was in there before. So. <clears throat> oh yeah, definitely. The juice is thick enough too where it wicks fast. So <clears throat> that's an, that's another upside is the wicking issue that you might have with some of the smaller tanks. Uh, even bigger tanks, it doesn't take that long to wick. So, puff away, naked fish. Let's see here. I don't know, I'm trying to determine what kind of flavor I'm getting off of it. I'm still getting a lot of your other juice. Yeah. Um, but you can get that hint of vanilla even with. Oh yeah, the cotton that he's using. So yeah, <clears throat> definitely a good brand. Um, I mean, if you're wondering what I'm running in here, it's pretty basic. It's uh, seven wraps, 24 gauge Kenthal on a Velocity salad deck with uh, cotton, bacon, cotton. But so it's pretty basic. It's a pretty basic build, but you know, 
gets the job done, and it produces pretty good flavor. I mean, yeah, you get those RDAs that are. Well, we're getting off topic here, but you get those RDAs that either produce clouds or flavor, and then there's a little bit of both. This one, uh, I should probably save this because I want to do a review on this RDA, so I'll save this for later. Check back if you want to see a review on the velocity that I have. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, to kind of wrap everything up, uh, Naked Fish definitely, I'll give it a good, I'll say 9.5 out of 10 just because of the fact that you can't see your juice. And that's being super nitpicky. Like, yeah. I mean, that's my only thing against it. Like, literally my only thing. So, yeah, besides that, great juice. Go definitely try it, pick it up. Go to a vape shop, see if they have it, get it. But other than that, yeah. So, I think that's about all we have yeah, for this up. review. So, check back for more. Like, comment, subscribe, all that yeah. good stuff. Check our social medias on Facebook at Local Bros Production. Our Instagram at Local, Local Bros underscore production. Uh, and of course, always here on YouTube. I know we're getting back into our <coughs> routine of getting videos uploaded. And sorry, I'm rambling. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it. That we all we got for this one. But yeah, check back for more. We'll see you guys later. Yep, yeah, Uncle Bros. Peace out. <laughs>